on Cape Sandblast yesterday. Yes. And there were tons of sea urchins on the shore. I've never seen. I grew up around there. I've never really seen a whole bunch of, like washed up like shells still moving. Still moving. Does that make any sense, or is that normal? Um. And this was on the beach. No, that's not exactly normal. Still alive, still moving out of the water above the tidal tide cycle. Yeah, that's a bad sign. That means that they're trying to get away, and the question is what they're trying to get away from. Um, a lot of our worry here is the uh, dispersant, and that sounds like that. Maybe, I mean, that's just maybe the situation. Uh, see, the thing about it is the dispersant, we can fight the oil, we can't fight the dispersant because we don't know what the dispersant is. These people would rather disperse it, make it sink, get it out of sight, and you can't see it, and then, you know, the oil companies have no liability at that point because the, uh, the giant red starfish down on the bottom of the sea and the squid and the jellyfish aren't going to sue them. But uh, the, the property is. And the more understanding we hope we can spread for, for example, not putting in offshore oil in Florida reefs and Florida areas and that kind of thing, people understand why we should not put it in. We, have, we see the oil spill, but we also need to know what the food chains are and what's being lost.